in the city, so we're gonna have city ambient noise. <laughs> but I want to check on my roof, the solar. So let me get things organized for that. what I'm trying to get so I can climb up there and reach it just a little bit better but um, I've got kind of a mess back here I haven't been putting things away you know um, just shoving it in there as I'm done so now I'm suffering that's why you need to put things away right away Okay, let's see what we got going on up here. I'm up here. Let's see. <laughs> see what we got. Well, right here it's coming off a little bit. But there's also another layer. There's two more layers under there. Let's see what else we got. A little bit here. Okay, here we've got, this is the cord, and we've got this flaking off. So I'll take this off. So, I'm at the top of my roof here. So, um, it's been on since August, 2020. That's seven months. So, I think it's doing pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape this down again and secure it and, you know, go for another possible seven months on this thing, but it is working out really well. I carry black and gray Gorilla Tape. Gonna use the gray. So I don't think I'm going to take this off this time. I think I'm just going to tape over it. I think I need a bigger ladder. I'm probably going to get a hold of my son maybe. This time. Okay. This is really sticky, so <laughs> it can be hard to get off. Let's see. That's why I like Gorilla Tape. <laughs> oh. Ooh, there we go. Oh, no. Okay, I just put this one on and I get it down tight. Now I'm going to do this side. Well, actually, I don't think I need to do this right here. This is the part I'm going to tape up. Just secure it down like I did there.
it at the edge here first. Just really press it down. So this is done. I think I'll put one right there. It's important not to get the tape on the actual solar panel part. I'm trying to keep it on this white edge here. So I got that on there, and now I'm going to work on getting these done here. I'll just keep taping down and I'll show you when I'm all done. Okay, I think this looks better. I got this retaped, and I've got the sides look good. Everything looks good up here now. Secured. I've got this secured also. This looks, this still looks really good around here. Yeah. Okay, so sorry about the ambient noise out here. <laughs> yeah, it's Sunday, it's getting towards Easter and there's a lot of activity. And the park here, they've opened up all the Ramada. So there's lots of family gatherings again. Oh my gosh, they took all the caution tape off. I'm so happy. Oh. I mean, finally, <laughs> you know, that people can like get together. But anyways, okay. So I wanna talk about my solar and no build or build situation in a minivan, in a minivan. I'm minivan Lee, and so that's what I'm all about. Now, a very popular nomad put out a video recently, so I was told that in the video, it was about solar, and he said that a Jackery was nothing more than an expensive glorified light charger for his lights. I disagree. I love my Jackery. And it powers up a whole lot more than my lights. Uh, my fans in the summer, Lifesaver, all of my devices, my laptop, my vacuum, things like that. So no, it's not just a light charger. And why don't, because he advocates using the traditional, original way of using solar. Having your acid batteries connected, or the solar panel connected to your controller then con uh, connected to your acid batteries, then connected to your inverter, and then you can plug things into it. Yeah, I mean, it might be cheaper. I mean, if he says it is, it probably is, but it can't be that much cheaper. It's not like, I mean, you have to buy your acid batteries and they have to be replaced. You have to upgrade your controller here and there. So there's also replacements that have to be done, yeah. Well, why don't I use that in my minivan? Some people do, but not me. No, I don't want that because your controller and your inverter have to be attached. They can't just be 
placed on my dresser here. I mean, they could fall and everything. So what they usually do is they screw them either into the wall where they put a board up and then they screw the board into the wall and then they screw the um, drill, the uh, controller and the inverter there. I don't want that. I just don't. This is not my cup of tea. If it is yours, then yay, go for it. Yeah, you might save a few bucks. I don't mind spending $500 for a Jackery. I don't. I would spend a thousand for the thousand, yeah. They're good quality. They're easy, they're aesthetic looking, and I can move them wherever I wanna move them to. Because if I had an inverter, I would have to be using extension cords, yeah. Well, anyways, there's just reasons why I don't want to use that system. And I will refute him in saying that a Jackery is just a glorified, expensive light charger. A lot of us use it for a lot of things and I'm gonna be getting my set power 12 volt refrigerator soon. And so it's gonna be powering that up also. So what I've done, I have, and I know a lot of you already know it, but if you don't, I have a no drill solar system. There are no holes drilled in my minivan in the roof. You saw the solar panel and you saw my window that I had taped. I have a 10 foot extension cord. You can also get a 15 foot, probably maybe better. I wish I would have got 12 or 15, but it works. I brought it through my window and it goes around. It goes behind my dresser and it ends up here where my Jackery is up here and I can plug it in. And I also have one more. It's getting a little older. I'll probably have to replace it, but I also have another power bank that needs to be um, charged up with solar. I like it. It's an easy system for me and I didn't have to hire anybody to do it for me. It's, it's a no brainer situation. If you want a no brainer situation and you don't want to be drilling holes and you don't want, if you're in a minivan or an SUV and you don't want holes drilled on the side or, or a piece of wood attached to, yeah. Um, and nothing can really be in front of, and yeah. If you don't want that, I got a system for you. Yeah. Um, I use my Jackery. It's a complete contained system. It's got the batteries. I don't have to find, oh, where am I gonna put my acid batteries? Where am I gonna put those? And then get the, do I have the connections right? And learning all that. If you don't wanna deal with that, and I don't, and I bet a lot of you don't, <laughs> you don't understand it or whatever, this is so easy. I mean, even moi can do it. And um, so I don't have to find where to store acid batteries. And I don't have to have my controller and inverter drilled to a board and you I mean you could paint the board and make it look nice, I guess. I just don't know where I would probably put it. And then I have to have all those connections going on and then I'd be checking on my batteries here and there. Yeah, well, it's not a horrible situation, but it's just one I don't want to do. Okay, so that's that. If, if, um, If you like your Jackery like me, or any power bank, really, power station, yeah, we think alike, yeah. And <laughs> we're all the same, yeah. So um, I respect all of Nomads, but the Nomad who did say that, he's in a, he's in a regular uh, a high top van and he's got more space and yeah, I'm in a minivan and I was surprised that he might actually say that because um, he is into uh, minivans and giving them away to other people. Well, I think he, when he does the build out of the minivans, he probably puts all that solar in there and everything. But, which brings me to another issue. It's a build out. I don't do build out. I don't like a build out. But I did want to talk about that because I did realize recently that I'm 5'3". I weigh 135 pounds. Um, I'm not a big person. Oh. Somebody's trying to pull it. I'm not a big person, so. Let me 
me move this back. So I can do what I do and I can lay my bed across this way and I have room. But I was really thinking if you are a tall person, the way I have my situation, everything uh, placed, it's not gonna work for you. But I did think, wow, if I had that back area of my minivan gone, you know, this area, it's getting noisy. People are pulling into the park. It's gonna be Easter pretty soon. If I eliminated this space back here and pulled everything back, you could do it. It's just that I don't require that space and I kind of like having this little closet back here because these are things that I use outside and I can easily pull up my hatch, grab it and go. So yeah, I wanted to mention that for y'all. So these are my, behind these dressers is that area I just showed you. And then those could go back further or even situated maybe over here, this way. So it could be done. You don't always have to do build up. Now, am I adverse to build outs? For me, yeah. But for you, dude, do a build out. Uh, make yourself a platform whether you have like milk carts and then milk cartons and then put a board on top with your mattress yeah a lot of people use that or you can actually build uh, wood and then you can put your things underneath it why don't I like that well here's why I'm comfortable like this I like to sit like this I just like to sit like this sit like this I just do I like to you know I like the room I like to sit on the floor that's where I'm comfortable I would be uncomfortable always sitting on a platform even when I was in a house I enjoyed having a futon in my living room and I could stretch it out I could lay there and watch you know be on the computer things like that I like that and actually ergonomically and physically it's better for you think about this if you're always sitting in a chair or a couch or you sleep only on a bed and then you get up you just put over your feet and you lift up when you're sitting in the chair you just lift up but if I'm sitting on the floor like this I was in a house I would have to get all the way up look how much more exercise you get I think that's why I've stayed in shape all of my life is um, I tend to go with non-traditional furniture and I have always uh, been a kind of a futon person or you know things like that and I know that I did enjoy futons but amazing for my grandkids too when they came over if I put them on my bed to sleep and their babies I mean they could fall off you know but on futon, they, they're not going to fall off. <laughs> they're not going to crawl off. And they, they could use my futons as a jungle gym, too. You know, just being active. I have very active children and very active grandchildren because I kind of, we lived kind of more of a, I don't know, kind of a hippie, uh, non-traditional uh, life with uh, different furniture, stuff like that. So, yeah. So that's the build, the no build. Um, Jackery, no Jackery acid batteries lithium batteries and I if I didn't mention before the uh, Jackery has a lithium back battery already in there's a controller inside and an inverter all you do is plug it in <laughs> it's pretty easy so just got out of Walmart there's another storm moving in oh my gosh <laughs> that's April for ya I mean all over the all over the nation, weather in the spring is a little um, unpredictable. So the wind is still blowing. I was in Quartzsite, the wind was blowing. I had to get away from it. And I came down here and the wind is blowing. <laughs> yeah, oh well. So I wanna show you what I got at Walmart. This afternoon, 
or this morning, but today, Governor Ducey in Arizona lifted all um, mask mandates and all business restrictions. Yes, restaurants are so businesses they can still require individual businesses can require us to wear a mask, but I bet they'll all be lifting because if there's no mandate. People are going to start flocking to places that aren't going to require a mask. So, you know, Walmart needs to step in line, too. So if you're in Tucson, this is the one um, that you can uh, get a lot. It's got a better variety. For instance, well, it has better clothes. I mean, I know a lot of you don't shop your clothes at Walmart. And I don't exclusively, but I do get a lot of summer stuff. When I get my summer stuff, I go to Walmart. Because they're low cost. And they're cute clothes if you get there in the beginning of the season. So, yeah, I went there to walk around. But I did want to tighten up some things that I needed. So, let's get started with what I got. Let's see. I got some things that I haven't gotten in a while. Maybe these are actually from my summer appetite but yeah mangoes in a cup in a hundred percent juice they're good I like them here we go mangoes they're they're only dollar 86 I think it's pretty good This is my go-to candy because I don't eat it all the time. It's not my favorite candy, but um, this way I just don't sit and eat candy. But <laughs> I did get on the way out. It's just a little, but for a dollar. There's a few of them where there's, these are so good, aren't they? Aren't these good? I love these. Do you like these? Yeah. Out here, I can hear Walmart there. Um, the recordings. Wear your mask. Stay six feet apart. <laughs> yeah. And here's some other ones. I don't know why I'm hungry for those. Mangoes. They have their, um, let's see what they are. Mmm. Mango chips. They are in, uh, they're sweetened, so. munch on this is probably better to munch on i mean it's sweet it's sugar but it's probably better to munch on than candy and cake things like that lemon sesame tuna ginger sun dried tomato and basil these are so both of these are my favorite yeah a dollar a piece Uh-oh. Got some cheese Swiss. Better not open these today. But it'll call me. I couldn't resist. 222. 222. 222. Extra sharp. I like extra sharp. I like bitey cheese now. I should get some, why don't I ever get blue cheese? I should go back in there and walk in there and get some blue cheese. Tortillas, flour tortillas. I think these, this size, I think, will fit my skillet. I can heat them up. <laughs> I love this. I got this one time. Extra crunchy. Skippy, extra crunchy peanut butter. I just, I just spooned it. Every once in a while, I just took a spoonful and ate it. This is good. <laughs> And I got some more of these. There's eight cups because I haven't had these in a while. Tostitos. Bite size. I like these. Do you? They're not too sweet. They're kind of salty. Um, they're not too sweet. Um, they don't have too much junk in them. They're just tortillas. 
So, I needed toothpaste. I'm going to try this lotion. Let me tell you a story. I got that Eucerin. The last time I got Eucerin, I don't know what was wrong with it, but it it made me feel sticky. I mean, literally sticky. I After a while, I, I just like, no. I, would, I like to put lotion on at night after I wash up and then lotion all up. Um, so I'm low, you know, so it can soften my skin while I sleep. Mm. I couldn't, uh, it just, it felt weird. I don't know what was in it, but I'll never buy Eucerin again, ever. So I thought I'd try this. It's just, it was a quickie. Um, I just needed something. Sandwich bags. I'm almost out. I think these were a dollar sixty. I got two new of these. Um, there's two in each pack. I just, I, mine are okay. I just thought maybe a couple more. They're only 98 cents a piece in the auto department where they have like the cleaning stuff. Yeah. Laundry soap. <laughs> I was out. Yeah. I like Tide Pods. One, two, butane. That a bunch. Y you know, it's funny. You can usually find butane in Tucson at Walmart. I mean, they, you usually can. They have a lot of, of uh, the propane, too. I just don't think there's a lot of campers here or something. I don't know. This isn't your typical BLM tourist uh, nomad uh, city. It's more of a... I mean, the snowbirds come in, but I don't know if so much they use this stuff like the nomads do. And then I got, this was expensive. I'm about out of this. This is um, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. This is what I put on my face after I wash it in the morning. And what this does is it keeps... You, you put it on while your face is still damp, and it keeps your face very moist. Guys, you too. You know, I mean, a lot of... I've, <laughs> I've heard even from a couple of my Boone uh, docking friends in Quartzsite that I've sparked with. Oh, I don't care, you know, leather face. Really? Girls don't want a, a guy with leather face. I mean, the cowboy look is over, you know? Cowboy look, yeah. Um, yeah, we want, uh, you know nice skin on men too to look at so guys make a mental note <laughs> okay I know you're not going to I was out of this I oh man I'm having some tea tonight sleepy time tea I'm making myself some tea it's a two two pack and it's so easy. Um, I ate some of this today for lunch. And this is multi-grain medley. It has quinoa in it, too. I was going to buy some quinoa. Some, one of you suggested, hey, Lee, get some quinoa. It's, it's quick to cook. Probably while I'm in cine mode this time, I'm probably not going to do a lot of cooking. I'm just going to want it. If I am going to cook, it's got to be really easy. Because I'm not going to be out there washing dishes and, and things like that. I'm kind of in here so yeah I want things to be a little easy these are expensive but I love them yeah olives on the go yeah it's a four pack this is like 380 <laughs> I know I know well that way if I open one they won't go bad because I don't have a cooler yet this I don't need a cooler for this is um Sweet relish, I can just put it in one of my bins. And this, I really, if I'm going to eat tuna fish, I like to have relish. So that's why I bought that. If you're new to boondocking, if you're new to my channel, I eat a lot of this. And so do a lot of other nomads. It's 98 cents. It's chicken breast. Flip top. Easy peasy. It's so good. You can 
you know, sometimes I just, sometimes I'll just I'll slice up some produce and then get my ranch dressing out and dip it. And then I'll have another little, just a little dish, put this in it, put a little mayo in it, and I'll just eat it spoon. I mean, it's like I got veggies fresh, and then I've got like a little chicken salad. And I don't even put it on anything, you know. I just eat it with a spoon. I know, I wanted to get some of uh, the little raisins, yeah. That way I don't have to open a big one. Okay, a couple more shirts. I'm going to get as many colors as I can. And they had, like I said, this had... These racerback shirts, I found, got, I, I only like the racerbacks. The other ones, they want to fall off your shoulder or whatever, but these are the best. But because that Walmart is so big, of course, they had every color available, whereas other stores didn't. Purple and pink, yes. So I'm not going to be really co color coordinated. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, in the summer, I like to wear color. I'm not adverse to color. Yeah, celery. I just cut it and eat it, dip it. Can of green beans. <laughs> this is nice if I just have some rice and I want to make a meal and I just put some maybe some beans in it or, yeah. And maybe some chicken. So that's what I got. That's everything that I got. Now I'm going to put everything away. And thanks for watching my Walmart shopping haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will uh, see you next time. I love you. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching it all the way through. Don't forget about my Amazon links. It's in the description of this video, every video. Just click on that little carrot symbol, bring it on down, look at them, go through the window, go in the door, I should say, and order something. If you order it within 24 hours of in your cart, I get a little something, something. Not much, but it does help and you can help support me. So if you order from Amazon, even if you don't want what is on that thing, just go through my door, go through the link, Go shopping, put it in your cart, and uh, go ahead and uh, order it. Yeah. And then this Nomad Life is my podcast on almost somebody, some obscure <laughs> podcast. They said, well, it's not on here. Um, most, there's Apple, Spotify, uh, Google Podcast, uh, Downcast. Um, yeah. The, um, there's more. <laughs> I can't think of them all, but the major, the major uh, podcast, yeah. Okay, bye.